<laughs> oh, hi. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome into the St. John's County Show. That's on in the morning. We've got a very interesting show today. We've got a lot to talk about. Okay. Uh, we do. We've got a recap from Troy. Oh, on his meeting yesterday. <laughs> Because he's the only one that does things in the community. God bless you. Well, he's the only one who does everything. Yeah. We all have our seasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy's just it's an all rounder. Yeah, it's always Troy season. It's always Blevin <laughs> season, man. Yeah, this has been a week. Uh, yeah, it has been a week for you. Uh, it's been a week for me, too. We've got, uh, we announced uh, the Florida Man Games is coming back in 2025. We'll give yeah. you a little bit of details on that. Cool. That's very exciting. Very exciting. St. John's County, oh, commissioners, oh, made a decision on Dominium. Dominium. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, Dominium. Trying to bring devil portals to St. Augustine. <laughs> devil portals. Yeah. Well, devil portals. <laughs> I like no. everything about it except for the devil portals. Yeah. Actually, we're trying to bring affordable housing to St. Augustine. Oh. It was pretty good. Yeah, yes. that's awesome. 100 million. Yeah. Uh, St. John's County agrees to buy a small utility company. We talked about this a month or so ago. I remember, yeah. They made it official. We'll it's talk to you about what yeah. that means. Yeah. We've got, uh, oh, there may be a deal between the Jaguars and the city of Jacksonville for that new stadium. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So they, mm-hmm. The one that looks like a whales. <laughs> yes. Okay. The orifice. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I think that's the official name of it, the yeah. orifice. <laughs> orifice Stadium. <laughs> no more comments. Nope, I did good. Uh, yeah, all right. Probably best to stop there. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, Ease on down the road. Could have gone yep. on a rabbit hole tangent right there. <laughs> we can go back. <laughs> and some sad news. The St. John's County bids farewell to a loving member of their department. We'll talk about that. And more stuff. Stuff. I like stuff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just leaving it there. I know. I know. Not bringing it back to the... Anyway. Um, Bozard Ford Lincoln. They have been more than just a dealership for three generations. They are a family-owned beacon of trust right here in St. Augustine. Founded on the principles of honesty, integrity, and community service, the Bozard family tradition continues to thrive. They've got a state-of-the-art facility. It's going to be a good day. Mm. Featuring 91 (laughs) climate-controlled service bays and a quick lane for no appointment needed maintenance. Plus, enjoy the comforts of uh, their customer lounge with Wi-Fi and the unique flavors of Ford's Garage. Great restaurant out there. They're the proud recipients of the prestigious Triple Crown Award and named Florida's Dealer of the Year by Dealer Writer. Their team is dedicated to providing an enjoyable and efficient experience. Your satisfaction is their mission, and they are driven to inspire their Bozard Ford Lincoln. Also, shout out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations, Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Subs, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Griffin Service, Elace Med Spa, Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, and BNS Signs. We'll talk about it in a little while. But first, good morning, guys. What's up? Hey, happy Wednesday. Pump day. Ooh, we're here. That is yeah, it. Yeah. Halfway through. How's it going uh, in the booth with the tag team duo of Clay and Trey? Yes, sir. We're here. Oh, okay. That's great. They're here. Great check-in. Yes, we are. And thanks, Pete, for the uh, wallet. I don't have a BBL anymore. There you go. Yes. All right. <laughs> BBLs. BBLs. I'm trying to figure out what that means. Obviously, aren't clued into the uh, pop culture. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm clearly not. So wow. Well, yeah, yeah we know big, that. Yeah, big, <laughs> clearly. Big butt something. Big butt something. It's a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, yeah. I was gonna go be back oh, later. So okay. Okay. Uh, even Davey didn't know. I that didn't one. even know. I was like, oh. <laughs> Y'all don't follow the Drake and Kendrick stuff? Golly, uh, yeah, did, did we Drake's ever? Drake's house just got shot up yesterday. Right. Oh, Security guard got shot 2 a.m. Yeah. in Toronto. Great, now I'm going to have to move it. But uh, Kendrick uh, has an alibi, and there, he has no connection to the actual shooting well, that we easy know Well, to have an alibi. Who knows? Who else is doing that? This is what happens when you have rap beef. Sometimes it gets real. Mm-hmm. It just gets fussy. Yeah, it could be extensive fans or something, you is, know? Is that on the menu? Could rap, be. rap beef? Rap beef. Yeah. 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 
Can it's I like a stroganoff. Some, yeah. yeah. Can I have some rap beef? <laughs> <laughs> question of the day, Troy. All right, question of the day. What celebrity would you want to do your eulogy? Okay. Oh, my God. All All right. Right. What celebrity do you want to do your eulogy? <laughs> we were just talking about the roast of Tom Brady, which was hilarious. Mm -hmm. People should go watch that. And I'm going to say Tony Hinchcliffe. Really? <laughs> yeah. He would destroy me at my eulogy, which would be hilarious, I think. <laughs> you just come back and... Self-deprecating sense of humor. I think that's perfect to have somebody just really trash me as I go down six feet under. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, that would be, that's a great answer. Great. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he's heartless, too. Heartless. Yeah. It's great. It's heartless. It's my favorite show to watch. I watch every week Kill Tony. It's a hilarious show. Oh, really? Yep. Um, I'm going to go an unorthodox answer. Shocker. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do Adele. Adele. Have you ever seen Adele get interviewed? Because it's no. hysterical. Like, she has this whole, like, different persona than you would actually think that she has. She has this beautiful, angelic voice, very, like, velvety and, mm -hmm. and incredible. Mm -hmm. But at the other end of it, she's like this high cussing, uh, doesn't give a crap kind of a lady. And I love that moment where she could just, she just, it rolls right off of her okay. in full can, friggin' glam. I can tell you, I think Adele's got the greatest voice out there right now. She's amazing, yeah. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> she's. I don't care which phase of her life and she starts singing to me, Rebecca, I'm sorry. I'm out. I, <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, that's, that's, wow. That's the, the, the Adele voice to me. So would she be singing at the funeral, Davey? Would you want her to sing? There? I mean, it's up to her. I mean, she's a diva. She's going to do what she's going to do. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome if she could, but I just would like for her to speak very frankly about a great friend. <laughs> I, love, I love that Davey was very realistic about our <laughs> fantasy question of the day. Oh, I'm ready. I He's make like, dreams you know, come true. she wants to. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I don't want to put pressure it's on It's your you. world, David. <laughs> is she singing or not? I'd like to make sure that she is outfitted with Hervé yeah. Leger and some uh, Harry Winston diamonds. There you go. There you go. That's that's where we were trying to get. <laughs> what about you guys back there in the booth? What are you thinking on this one? Uh, I got to go Kendrick. Kendrick. Whoa. Oh. Kendrick. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, everybody's ending up shot at your funeral. Was very, yeah, I was very <laughs> shocked. I was shocked. <laughs> We're going to have to wear a vest there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez, we all need bulletproof vests. So Drake's not invited is what you're saying. <laughs> so uh, Trey, what you got, man? I'm, I'm thinking uh, I'm also going to go a little far-fetched here. Um, I'm going to go with Johnny Depp. Johnny oh, Depp. Yeah. Oh, wow. Clay is the specialist in this group of yeah, Johnny Depp. Clay's yeah, Clay's big into that trial. Yeah, he knows he's, all about it. He reported yeah. for us. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. got that suave sense about him. Yeah. There you he go. Could have a nice, warm summary of my life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to send me off. <laughs> Just don't let Amber hurt anywhere near there. You'll have something else warm in your casket. <laughs> she won't be in <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, oh, man. Man, well, they're going to put them in the ground, so. Manure yeah. for mulch. It's like a cat. Just bury it. <laughs> well, uh, Trey, we just ruined your funeral. Yeah, there it sorry, is. Very Trey. easily. Yeah. That was a heartwarming moment. We just destroyed it. <laughs> it's nice. Well, there are worse ways to go. Yeah, true. True, true. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Troy? All right. I, and I'm going to go, because um, we talked a little bit about this, but I can't. I couldn't think of anything better than uh, what we came up. I'm going with Will Ferrell, but I want him to do two eulogies. Okay. One, one is Ricky Bobby. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Okay. And the other one is Ron Burgundy. Oh wow. So like like a little break in between and then come back as Ron Burgundy. That kind of gets both of your personalities. The yeah. newscaster personality, if we can call you that. But also the Deland personality. Yeah. We get that with Ricky Bobby. Yeah, Ricky Bobby's one hundred percent Deland, so it covers both <laughs> yeah. both my uh, both my life. It was so funny, and I'm sure you've seen this going down there with Blake to go to uh, Dave. Daytona this year and see how many people had Ricky Bobby flags oh, at yeah. the Daytona 500. No, it's it's it's, it's a big <laughs> deal and they and they actually yeah. they actually have where their where his jersey um you know I mean it, it's, yeah. yeah it's they it's have a a, I mean they fly that Ricky Bobby flag like you would fly a Dale Earnhardt flag. I mean wow. it's, it's serious man. He's an icon. You of don't see Days of Thunder on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also filmed in Dalian, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was part of that filmed so, in Dalian? So it was filmed in Dalian. Must have of got a tax write-off yeah. or something, yeah. yeah. Well, it was mostly Daytona, but it was cheaper to be in Dalian. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> cheaper. 
right. <laughs> that and Waterboy, that's what we got in the land. Yeah. <laughs> Waterboy too? Yeah, Waterboy yeah. Water just... was at the stadium where I started in Parks and Rec. Wow. So, Look at yeah. you. That old beat up stadium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the championship was at the Florida Gators, the yep. swamp. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to seeing what you guys are saying out there in the comments oh, world. Barbara Jean, would he play the cowbell? Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah I would need more cowbell. More cowbell. My, my service. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Good question. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's now time for a quick check of the weather, Troy. Tight. Yeah, quick check of the weather brought to you by good quick check of the weather switch. Right oh, there. wow. Yeah. Compliments. Brought to you by Great Expectations Realty at Auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com and gerealty.us. We now go to Clay and Trey for our traffic report. All day. All righty. There it is. Everything's looking pretty smooth sailing. There's okay. Not, not a huge lot of buildup anywhere around town. So we've been very fortunate to evade that. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's not too bad on the roads this morning. Mm-hmm. Wasn't too bad coming in today. Right. Almost got the train. I got every, I got, every light was smooth sailing all the way uh, in. I got the train twice. Woo! You got the train uh-huh. twice. It's always one of us, yeah. I, I, like, I like pulled off 16 trying to go that way. I saw the things cut back over in front of three people. Okay, wow. Yeah, and then it got me at the gate, so. Mm. Had to go in, though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah you know, okay. I, I killed yeah. the whole train stop while going in the gate, so. There you go. Do you do gate points? I'm hoping you have some sort of no, program really to reward should. you. I probably already would have rolled. Yeah, you need yeah, to get on would. that. Get on the points. Then you get a free roller. Who knows? Uh. <laughs> I'm learning the lingo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's looking good out there on 95. Yeah, yeah. All right. I see some cones, but no big deal. Cones. Cones. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't you know. Don't you. All right. Good deal. Thank you, guys. That traffic report comes to us from L.A. Med Spa. Mm. Hey, Mother's Day is just around the corner. And if you're anything like me, uh-oh, I haven't read this read, read yet, so I don't know what I'm about to describe <laughs> oh, myself as. <laughs> anything like me. <laughs> Finding that perfect gift for mom can be a real challenge. That's actually true. See? Well, worry no more because L.A. Med Spa has got you covered this year. When you purchase a $100 gift card from L.A. Med Spa, you are not only giving the gift of relaxation and beauty, but your mom will also receive a stylish makeup bag. Hey, isn't that nice? Yeah, man. And an extra 50 bucks. See? How towards cool. Towards any service of her choice. That's huge. That's right. 150 bucks for just $100. That's awesome. Anytime you can make money turn into more give it, money. That's give it great. money away. Yeah. That's right. Don't miss out on this amazing offer. Make this Mother's Day unforgettable with a gift from Alace Med Spa. Visit Alace today. And give them a call to grab this exclusive deal. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I know what I'm doing for my mom for Mother's Day. It's a great idea. That is. I love bonus gifts on top of, you know, you get a gift card. That's a good idea. Yeah, man. Elace.com for more. (laughs) All right. Made a big announcement last night. The Florida Man Games. Back for round two. Yeah. Yes. Everybody seems to be very, very excited. I yes. was glad to see the response of that. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a lot more information coming out Monday, which is going to be great. Can't wait to can't wait to let you guys in on who's going to be there, who's coming back. Okay. Got some great people coming back. Uh, we're going to have early bird ticket pricing. So I'm going to tell you, there's a limited number of early bird tickets, and they are cheap. They are cheap. You want to get these while you can. So get ready for Monday. All the information is going to drop Monday. Tickets are going to open Monday. Uh, team submissions are going to open up Monday. Those are we've got to open those ooh, earlier ooh, this ooh, year because I just want to see more of those. Yeah, I want to get as many of those. Yeah, as I think possible. I think you're going to. I think you're going to have a challenge. I mean, trying to nail it down. To I think it's going to be. Made it. Yes, I think there's going to be a lot more teams getting in this year, uh, and a lot more wild and crazy submission videos. So do the top three automatically get back in? Uh, the top one automatically gets back in. The child, the defenders. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, Team okay. Hanky Spanky has to defend their title. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. yeah. We love them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I saw the Cooter Commandos already talking trash. Already and talking trash. And them and Hanky Spanky are already going back They're and forth. They're going back and forth. They're already so going I, back and forth. That's, that's why I was asking, like, do those guys... Yeah. This is, you know, this is a real rivalry. It'd be like leaving the Yankees out of... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> out of the Major League Baseball. I, yeah. I just got to, just speaking of that, I got to grab a screenshot that I got from them talking trash yesterday. Mm-hmm. Because it was great. The Cooter Commandos made a post. Oh. You know, we're ready to go. Yeah, we're talking about testicles. Yes. Yes, I saw ah. it. Yes, one of, one I saw of, that. It was beautiful. One of the team members of the Cooter Commandos. Got to read this. Close your kids' ears. Uh, the Cooter Commandos. And then one of the teams, uh, one of the guys from uh, Hanky, Hanky Spanky. Spanky. Says, Cooter Commandos, y'all better gain some weight, grow some testicles, find some new team members. I don't know. Got to do something different. And... Uh, the Cooter Commandos responded, Joke's on you. We've been growing our testicles for six months in preparations for this. Oh. I, I didn't know yeah. that was a thing you could yeah. do. Oh, do you need a judge? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's just so sorry. That just fell right out. That's embarrassing. Got to tuck that tail in. <laughs> there, is, there is now going to be a testicle contest. Oh. In games. Well, uh, not... One like Rocky that. Yes. Oysters. It's yeah. always a testosterone oh, contest. Oh, of course. Rocky yeah. Mountain Oyster eating contest. Butch. What? Oh, you don't know what that is? That's bull balls. Oh, yeah, moo moo buckaroo. Yeah. <laughs> do have to add somewhat of a fear factor element to this. Yeah. Oh, no. I do want to figure out something gross to drink. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lord. You could do the, the Beverly from uh, the Coca Cola factory. The what? The Beverly. That's, the, that's like the, the, the Coca-Cola flavor. That is just horrible. <laughs> it's oh. called the Beverly? It's called the Beverly. Yes, uh, Fact-checking, fact-checking. No, it's got to be something really gross. It's got to be like something Like manure water. Fear factor. Bong water, did you say? No, manure. Bong water might actually be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we can call it. <laughs> Davey throws out a real suggestion. And I'm like, what? Something <laughs> different? That'd be awesome. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny's going with not an oyster stew. But, I mean, you can, you can call it bong water and just kind of make the grossest concoction you can come mm, up with. I can, I can find some bong water pretty easily. Yeah, seriously. We're in, we're in Florida. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was some at... The Florida man game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can source it from the crowd. Yeah, we're going to have camping. <laughs> All my friends smell like weed or little babies They're in Florida. Just, yeah. That's right. We will have camping. <laughs> oh. We will have an RV uh, Ooh. tailgate town. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what What Pastor was the suggestion? Jeff. Dip, spit, cup. Oh, oh. Pastor Jeff. Oh. <laughs> That is okay. just nasty. I can, tell, I can tell you this. I had a friend who, uh, uh, not dip spit, but I mean, that that was always a joke. Like, if you drink the, out of the dip cup, you, you get like 20 bucks on the base. But you found out how, how oh, wow. poor people actually were yeah. on your team. Yeah. And they would gag. Um, but I had a friend oh. who, uh, we were playing ball. The other guy had put a cigarette in this Coke can, and he thought oh, it was yeah. empty. And yeah, it was yeah. my buddy's. It was my buddy's Coke can. Shaka yeah. And he drank, <laughs> yeah. he drank it, and he was like, yeah. He pulls his out. Yeah. Like, oh. I I remember I was uh hanging out with a few girls by the pool one night and uh this was a while ago. And uh one of the things every one of the beer bottles everybody was using for the for their cigarettes. Mm. They were yeah. putting their there were about 12 cigarettes in there. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I know. I can't. One of the girls grabs it at one point in the night and just takes a swig. Yeah. Didn't even notice. Didn't even we we oh had to gosh. tell her like that's the one everybody put their cigarettes out oh, in. She's that's, like, oh, really? Oh, it's a new meaning for butt breath. I mean, really. Uh. <laughs> that, that worse in my mouth. Uh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, the person who drinks. You've had worse in your mouth? No, no, no. That's what I heard. You didn't say it in a girl's voice. No, you, you said it in Troy's voice. The inflection <laughs> should have changed. Yeah, yeah man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, and, and the person who drank the cigarette is actually watching right now. Oh, so, wow. Really? Yeah. They're still alive. That's They're cool. Alive. Yeah, that's very nice. You don't die from that. The person I knew who drank the cigarette is now on a billboard in St. Augustine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So that's going to be exciting. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to announce the... Uh, all the information and in the uh, uh, and the location. Yeah, the post was elusive, so yeah, we I don't want to dive in too deep, but I'm yeah. just saying. So we get ready for next week, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Monday. Oof. Monday, we drop all oh. the info on everybody, man. Cool. Like it. You're not yeah. even here, huh? No, I'll be watching. Okay. Oh, God. 
You better be. You better be. Let's see. No, it'll be five in the morning. I'll be watching later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out there in Vegas, it's a little it's, early. It's five in the morning. Time there. lapse. It's so yeah. early. Yeah. All right. So can't wait for that. Hope you guys are excited. And get ready to get tickets, because seriously, there's yeah. only going to be like a couple hundred of the uh, advanced early bird price tickets. Davey, how did you let me go with this button being done? I, I, I was liking your Ricky Martin moment. I, I thought it was nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Live la vida loca. Si, sí, muy caliente. I forgot my uh, Italian horn necklace. Yeah, there. right. Oh, how you doing? Do you have one of those? I don't. But, you know, maybe I can find one in Vegas. Dude, Just get one. Go. Yes, okay. get Just one. Go. That'd be hot. I was going to accuse there you of go. culturally appropriating my people. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm jumping on the bandwagon. There it is. Nice. Good. Just kidding. All right. Troy, how did, uh, you had a planning and zoning meeting yesterday. Oh, I did have a plan here. I'm <laughs> now up. we're buttoning back, button up. back up. Yeah. Yeah. We're not a Russ Meyer movie. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on Troy's mood, the top button is on or off. <laughs> it's back up. Okay. So, uh, planning and zoning. Troy. <laughs> It's all business. All yes, right. I'm ready for my interview. So what did, this, what did this have to do with, Troy? What were you all at right. planning and zoning for last night? So planning and zoning, uh, when we've been talking about it for quite a while. Um, we, we were talking about the Treasury Building. Mm -hmm. um, we, were, we were calling it the Exchange, and we're looking to try and, uh, try, trying to create a very, very high-end hotel, mm. like the highest of high-end hotels there. And, um, you know, we put together an amazing team. Uh, the design, we've been through HARB a couple times. They've given us some advice on where we need to be. Okay. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful building. Um, but last night was our first round of planning and zoning. Mm. Uh, it's it's moved forward. Uh, we got a 7-0 vote last night. Uh, it's moving forward. Next meeting is June 4th. Okay. Uh, so the team was very excited. Um, it was uh, accepted uh, pretty much. Uh, by a lot of a lot of local businesses because it's so important to have a quality visitor and this kind of raises uh, what's what's the saying uh, a rising uh, uh, rising tides raises all ships sure, or whatever yeah um, and it's you know if you have this at the highest level it kind of brings up everybody else's level because they got to be like okay we got to keep our keep ourselves clean and stuff like that but this yeah. this hotel is a game changer. Uh, for the community, it's still several years out, um, yeah. but it, the planning the planning stages is right now uh, really on the move. So, okay, you know, for a high end customer, you can have to fix that elevator. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, actually, actually, the uh, the elevators are getting done this year. The two oh, his, okay. two historic elevators are going to stay the the uh, the boxes are going to stay the same, but everything's getting redone, and that's happening like right now, like it. it Oh, cool. Start in the next five weeks. Oh, wow. So we're going to do one and then do the other one so we're not down in the building. Uh, but those elevators, if you've ever been in the elevators in, in the Treasury building, they're extremely small. Mm -hmm. So um, I always take the stairs, the, and the it's new, a lot of stairs. The new, the new code, uh, you have to have a bigger elevator so you can fit a gurney in. So we'll have an elevator that will meet code in, the, in that building because okay. there's going to be 50 rooms in the tower okay. and 53 rooms in the new section of it. Oh, okay. Um, are you building a new section? Yeah, of it? we're building a new You're building section. onto it. Yeah, we're building a new section in the parking lot. So, oh wow! Uh, and then uh, the new section uh, inside the new section is where the parking will be. So it'll be completely <laughs> hidden from everyone where the parking is going to be because it'll be inside the hotel. Um, Interesting. So you, you'll never know that the parking is really there. Um, 160 parking places, um, some uh, great restaurants. I mean, we're talking. This is a game changer. Do you have triple A discount? <laughs> is there a room by the hour? I mean, I just want to yeah, know the no, amenities. No room by the hour. No, no room, room by the hour. No I'd like a rest hour. every once in a while. They want a I quality do. customer, uh, <laughs> not people bringing hookers to the place. <laughs> well, yeah, those people do that. I go for a rest. You won't have to bring your own sheets. Oh, right? good. So, you know, well, but, uh, I mean, sometimes. we're talking. We're talking. Think highest level hotel. Ooh, okay, that's where we're talking. That's so, exciting. Very cool. Yeah, so we're really excited about it. Beautiful building. So um, any insights that you're allowed to tell us on when this changeover is planning to? take place well we still we still have people lease in the building um sure. so it, it's it's still about five to six years out wow um you know and it's probably going to be about a two-year build so um you know probably won't open doors for about seven years mm. oh, yeah okay so, but uh, i mean you gotta Hopefully plan I'm alive now. yeah you yeah you gotta plan plan now and it, i mean and uh 
you know, I've, I've had, had a lot of great projects and stuff like that. And this one might be my last real big project. Really? Yeah. So, I highly doubt you'll give up big yeah, projects. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I enjoy, I enjoy like big stuff. It makes, makes a, yeah. Makes a big impact and changes a, the paradigm makes, of makes our community. Change. I mean, it makes a that. change. So, and I've been very fortunate. The people around me have allowed, uh, allowed me to do these things. <laughs> they keep inviting me back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, seven zero, oh, cool. it passed. That's nice. Yeah. Congratulations. And Bobby asked, okay. "Will it be road closures?" Yes, we'll be redoing all of Charlotte uh, Street, so it's oh, going to look like the rest of uh, like uh, what you see on Treasury mm -hmm. and some of those. And uh, so we'll we'll do our portion uh, of the give was to do all of Charlotte, which was about a uh, uh, little under six hundred thousand to mm -hmm. redo all of Charlotte from uh, Cathedral to uh, Treasury. Wow! And then we're going to participate in thirty percent because if we just do that, it's still not going to be right unless the city does the rest of it. Mm -hmm, so we're mm -hmm. going to give thirty percent uh, uh, of whatever the improvements would be from Treasury to Avenida Menendez. So it's it's a just in our road portion that we're giving to the community is over a million dollars um and then uh the other thing that i that to me is the most important thing is i don't know if you've ever went down charlotte street in the mornings there's trash cans on every side like from harry's casarena there's going to be a new oh, restaurant there yeah. from athena's all of them are along there uh we're putting in our we're hiding it in the hotel uh, where Lobby. you entry, <laughs> where the entry, it is near the entryway. Okay. But we're hiding it in the entryway where we have a shared compactor. So right. all of those hotels, all those trash cans can go away. Okay. And, and it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be ventilated. It's going to, you won't smell it. Um, and it's to me, that's probably the best thing we could do for that neighborhood because I, it, if you've ever seen it on trash day on Charlotte, it's disgusting. It's horrible. Yeah. See, it's, it's we terrible. skip that street yeah. on dog walk. Yeah. yeah. This is why you need to run for mayor because the, the city has been asked to fix the trash problem and here you are fixing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Well, here and, you are fixing it yourself. And, and I'll, and I'll, I'll give David Bertram credit for this. The city manager, he's the one who said, Hey, can we do something with this? And, okay. and, and he, it was, it was him who asked us, we really need to do something with this. So I'll, yeah. All okay, that credit nice. goes to city manager David Bircham. Okay, uh, there you for, go for putting that. And we and we all That's agreed. the first time Troy has not taken credit for something. You could have taken credit for. <laughs> yeah, it. Was, no, no, yeah. no. But this, this somebody one, screenshot this one. <laughs> this one, yeah, yeah. This is the best up. Uh, but but it, it, you know, and uh, you know, he recognized it, and we're like, oh gosh, yeah, that we, we can definitely make that happen. So cool, that's man. great. That yeah. is that is congratulations. That's going to be yeah. a great project for St. Augustine and. Uh, yeah. yeah, and and every, everybody on the team did an amazing job in the presentation, and uh, you know appreciate uh, the the members of the planning and zoning board, except for Mike Davis. Yeah, how, did, how was Mike he? Was he like yeah. you know? He got a little jab in on me. Did he really? Yeah, he picked on my really? light. He picked on my lights on the yeah. uh, at Christmas time. No. Why your really? lights are the best? Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Over and over oh, again. No, he was doing it on purpose just to get a jab in. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. I had to get in there. Yeah. But so. now it's on the record. People can use that against you. I know. Ah. I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> the planning and zoning department doesn't yeah. like Troy's lights. I'll get you. Yeah. And your little lights, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Yeah. So we're excited about it. And it was, like, like I said, it was a good day. Everybody did an amazing job. That's cool. And planning and zoning had to stay really late. Um, you know, it was, it was a, a long meeting for him. It was a six hour meeting for him. Wow. How do you prepare for a big meeting like that? Like, is there like uh, a lot of prep before something no, like that? There was, there was a ton of prep. I mean, our, our team is, uh, you know, a lot of professionals. Uh, you got your, uh, you got your attorney, you got your, uh, architect. Yeah. You got your, uh, landscape architect. You got your engineer. You have three different consultants. You have your traffic study and everybody's come together. I mean, it's probably eight meetings already that we've had just as that team. Cool. Um, wow. You know, and we'll meet, we'll meet two more times before the next one because mm -hmm. they kind of gave us some suggestions on, uh, you know, uh, what they would like to see a little bit different. Okay. So cool. And then after that, it goes to Harb, which is kind of sets the design. Um, but, but we've already been to Harb twice. So I think we're pretty close uh, of where, where they want us to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 
And, I mean, it's, and it's a huge team effort from the different committees and, and uh, our team because we see something and it's like, oh, this is going to be great. And then we get there and they're like, no, nah, we don't like it. Mm. And then you got to kind of start over. Yeah. So. Well, cool, man. Definitely keep us posted along, yeah. uh, along the way. Yeah, it's going to be. It's this, been, this is something people have been talking about for at least five, seven years since uh, Mr. Patel bought the place. Since he, since he bought it. I mean, it's an $80 million build. Million. Wow. Okay, wow. So, and in, in the tax implications of that, the first year we open, uh, it will increase uh, taxes to the city by a million dollars, and it'll increase taxes to the school district by 500000 So, it'll be putting one point five in. Immediately after we open, hmm. oh, that's cool, man. Community. That's good. A lot of perks on this. I'm hearing, yeah, yeah, that's man. Great, great job. Good deal. Well, congratulations. No thanks to Mike Lewis. Yeah, Mike. yeah. Seriously, Thank what's you. that about? Yeah. Good he was gracious. he was positive. He just got a little jabbing <laughs> on me. So. Wow, had to. Yeah, had to. That's what friends do. Mm-hmm. That's right. Sure. St. John's County Commissioners voted on the Dominium Complex. Uh, this was a plan to build 288 affordable apartments. They said no. What? They said no. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Uh, we don't like your name, Dominion. Maybe they <laughs> yeah, should maybe change they the name and name. rebrand. They probably should yeah. change to a nicer name. Nice people. House yeah, or something. or something. Yeah. Shining yeah. Happy Apartment. Happy right. Hills. <laughs> yeah. Happy light Hills. Of, I like it. Angel. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so unfortunately, about 288 affordable uh, apartments, just not in the works. Not going to be in the plans wow. here pretty soon. The rent was ranging from uh, about $1,000 to about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 a month, which was the most affordable I've heard around here in a very long time. Uh, despite support from affordable housing advocates and local business owners, uh, there were some residents opposed to the project, citing <laughs> traffic worries and questioning the impact on the area's quality of life. Same concerns that all these other developments have, but, you know, this one gets scrapped. That's interesting. Well, Dominium expressed disappointment with the outcome, mm. urging commissioners to address the unaffordability in the county. The decision reflects this balancing act that we've all seen um, between traffic and uh, building new places. Right, yeah. Yeah, man. So, still tough to live in St. John's County. You're still going to be paying around $2,000 a month, no matter if you want to live in a shack in someone's backyard or what. God, that has really gone up. Yeah, yeah. Shacks used to be like, you know, $400. Right, I've, yeah. Oh, Using one for you. Yeah. <laughs> I just have that address. I'm <laughs> you didn't have that address. Yeah. I'm yeah. about to pop up a few of these Home Depot tiny homes in my backyard and start charging rent. Don't even do that. You can get them on Amazon now. For like 6K, you can get like really? these. And you literally, yeah. you just pull it open like an accordion. Yeah. Whoa. It's awesome. Yeah. They've been okay. doing studies yeah. on them and people with like tiny homes. Yeah. Put a couple little yurts out there. Yeah. Yurts. yurts. Okay. Yeah. Tent city. Yeah. Well, the neighborhood already hates that I don't cut the grass enough. So <laughs> well, and then you get some tenants. They can, well, houses they can earn their yard. keep. Well, the people yeah. that live in the yurts could have goats, and that'll take care of your grass. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah, they need to eat that. Thank God I have no homeowners association. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you would be on a dartboard, <laughs> yeah. Your neighborhood hates oh, that trail. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they oh, do. Hate that trail. Yeah, the Troy Trail. I hate, I hate the Troy hate Trail. The Blevins Trail, yeah. So there you go. Um, hopefully... You know, it, it's interesting because um, Dominium was going to, they had already secured approval from the Florida Department of Transportation for a $7 million traffic improvement plan, including road widening and additional lanes on State Road 16 and Silverleaf Parkway. Uh, so they were ready to put in the work. Mm. They were ready to put in the work on that uh, on, on the roads, which is what everybody asked for. Now, can they come mm. back to the table on this or no? I'm not sure how that would work. Mm, I'm yeah. honestly not. They'd have to rework, uh, rework it, and kind of present it as something completely different. Uh, um, you know, and I think they have uh, they have to wait a year, uh, and if they want to bring something like this back, like if it's still similar. Wow, someone's okay. getting fired. Yeah. No, it happens. It's part of it's cost of is cost it? of development. Is it? That's why yeah. housing is as expensive <clears throat> as it is, because you have yeah. a, you have a per door price. And all these things cost money, mm-hmm. like billions of dollars before you even start building. 
And well, we've heard know, the price of putting baked, down a road. Yeah. yeah. And that's baked, that's baked into, uh, into the door cost. Right. So, uh, including your impact fees, every, everything that's added on this side gets added on this side. And that's why you, you have $2,000 rents. Gotcha. Yeah. So there we go. We'll see if, uh, we'll see what pops up next for affordable housing in St. John's County. Hopefully mm-hmm. before everybody moves away. Interesting. St. John's County now agreeing to buy a small utility company for six million bucks. St. John's County commissioners unanimously approved the negotiated purchase of North Beach Utilities, a water and wastewater provider serving approximately 1,400 customers in the Volano Beach area. The county will acquire the uh, utility for $6.025 million, funded initially from reserves uh, with the potential for future bonding. The assessment by Raftelis <laughs> Financial Consultants okay. indicates an immediate need for around $4 million in improvements with an additional $2.8 million over the next five years to update the equipment at the facility. Despite these costs, the acquisition projected to boost the county's utility revenue by about $2.1 million annually oh. with operating costs estimated at $1.3 million. The impact to customers, they say, is going to be different depending on where you live, depending on how much water you use. Those consuming less than 6,000 gallons of water per month will see a reduced rate under the county management. Higher consumption could lead to increased charges due to a tiered pricing system. The acquisition going to align with St. John's County's history of acquiring local service providers. They've been doing this apparently since 2005, uh, including the town of Hastings in 2018. They bought a whole town. Yeah. With customer bases ranging from 90 to 5,000. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congratulations <clears throat> to the Usina family. They, yeah. They've been, they've been, oh, that's right. It was a local running, company. Yeah. They've been running that, that, yeah. that utility for a long, long time. And congratulations to them. They're like, <clears throat> yeah. Don't have to go to the water plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good feeling. We do still have to get gas, unfortunately. Oh, man. Yep. So we've got the Gas Buddy Gas Report. If you are seeing good prices for gas, please let us know. It would help us all out a lot. We got the Sitco at 780 South Ponce at 341 this morning. The Shell at 216 Ponce Leon Boulevard, 342. Uh, your Shell at 146 King Street is at 345. Out there at the Shell at 2350 uh, North Ponce. Where'd it go? There we go. 349, the Sunoco at 450 South Ponds, 352, the Gate on Mizell Road, 354, same with Ashwin out there on the island. And Circle K on 207 is at 357 this morning. Do they even want us to drive? <laughs> no, no, that's the whole point. Gosh. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Gosh. All right, Wawa's at 330 and Costco's at 325. So Wawa and Costco are getting closer together. All Iowa right. City, 336. Sounds better over there. Uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, Wawa. Costco getting closer. right, yeah. I think Wawa has some deals or something on Wednesday, or maybe it's because it starts with a W. Wawa it Wednesday. seems like they go lower on certain days. Yeah, you what? gotta watch it. Maybe, maybe we get the insight oh, on that. Anybody know? Good to. Yeah. I've been observing that. At. Yeah. Uh, Chris Lucero, bail bonds will get you out of jail if you go to jail for any reason. It's good to know this number, 904-822-BAIL. Uh, he's available 24-7 to provide fast and reliable bail services so you can get back to your life and get back to making money so you can pay for those court costs, pay for your lawyer. But at least you won't be sitting in jail getting fired from your job. Because you remembered that number. 904-822-BAIL. 904-822-2245. Number one name the bail game. That's it. We got some live music happening today and tonight. Jim Lamb going to be at the Milltop Tavern at noon, smoking Joe Shower at Trade Winds at 1. Reggie Starrett at the Milltop at 4.30. Denny Blue Fusion 904 Eatery at 6. Argaya Dewey Vaya at Ann O'Malley's at 6. Heather Craig, Old Coast Ales at 6. Yale Dre and Zaza Flamenca going to be at the St. Augustine Food and Wine Festival. Oh, that's going on. That's right. Mm, yeah, at 6.30. Yay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dave is underwhelmed. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's a nice thing for people to do. It's enjoyable. <laughs> that mm, at the end. Yeah. 
Well, you yeah, know who's not? Yeah. yeah. That's Griffin Service. Oh, they're so, the best. Yeah, yeah they that's are. That's something to get excited about. <laughs> they specialize in AC, plumbing, and electrical services, plus unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. They do outdoor kitchens, fire pits, pool heaters, all that good stuff. Friendly, fast, affordable service, seven days a week. Call 904-500-2653 or visit griffinservice.com and see... The Grifference. I gotta yeah. tell you, Friendly is their team. I had a talk with their accountant yesterday, and she was amazing. Shout out to Pat. She was so easy to talk to, and yeah. I had no idea what she needed, and she just made it very clear. They're great people. Cool. Yeah. I, I can tell you, like, one of the things that they do, the service they offer, is they'll actually text you before they get there. Yeah. Right? And they'll send you a picture of the technician that's I like coming. that, yeah. So you're like, oh, okay, that's my guy. Yeah. You know, or or, or a woman whoever shows up. But I mean, it's, yeah. it's, I think it's such a good service for people that have never seen them before. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've been to my place several times, but I was, I'm, I was thinking, I was like, Oh, if I was an, uh, you know, an elderly person that you don't really want people in your right. house. Yeah. I think that service is very important. Like, Oh, there's the guy that, that texts me and you know, yeah. you know uh, looks familiar. I think right. It's very professional the way they handle things. So. Cool. Was that a knock on me, an old guy who doesn't want people in your house? No. Uh, it's kind of a knock on me being the old guy and you not want people in the house. It was a hybrid. It was a hybrid knock. A hybrid yeah. between me and Troy. Yeah. It's like knocking on the front and the back of the door. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got a weird Wednesday here. Already? <laughs> yep. Weird? I thought we already were weird. <laughs> yeah, we're weird enough oh, for this Wednesday. this is when it starts? This just gets weirder? Yeah. <laughs> a person dressed as in a Bigfoot costume and caused a school in Ohio to lock down. No, yeah, it was a Yeti. <laughs> was uh, it? You know, around here, it would have been a skunk ape. I mean, skunk there's a lot ape. of names. Yep. But we'll talk about it right after I tell you about our friends at Fidus Roofing. Um, hey, having a good roof on your home is so important. It could even save you money, honestly. If you haven't upgraded to a metal roof, um, that can help you get an insurance break. I mean, so at the end of the day, if you want to save some money and you need to upgrade to a metal roof, call Fidus Roofing. They do it all, but they don't just do metal roofs. They do any kind of roof you want. Give them a call, 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. And gutters. Yeah. All right. I wasn't done. Yeah, I know. No. Okay, now I'm done. My prostate just went numb. You're doing great. <laughs> the appearance of a person dressed as Bigfoot causes an Ohio school to... Go lockdown. Go on lockdown. This is actually the whole school district. <laughs> God. Oh. The whole school district went on lockdown. School district. That's Everybody's right. yeah. Okay. Right. For one, I know. Seriously. We just shoot them around here. The same Florida. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell it wasn't Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier this week, classes in Firelands Local School District in Lorien County's Henrietta Township. Faced a disruption when an unexpected visitor donning a Bigfoot costume entered the campus. Oh, that's sketchy. Oh, he came that, on the you campus. can't do that. Okay. You can't yeah, do that. It's... Video footage circulated on Facebook captured the costumed figure. Lucky he didn't get shot. Darting, right. I know, seriously. That's darting was... past classroom windows, prompting the district to initiate a lockdown. This must be a small district. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be. Superintendent Michael von Gunten. Oh. Michael von Gunten. Not happy. It doesn't sound like he sounds like a guy from like what was the sounds like a Nazi. Yeah, Bruce Willis, the Bruce Willis movie, Die Hard. Die it sounds, Hard. sounds like a villain from Die Hard. Yeah. Yes, Michael von Gunten confirmed that the individual clad as Bigfoot parked on school grounds and traversed the campus, triggering safety protocols. Elementary school students, initially outdoors, were swiftly ushered into safety. Von Gunten assured parents and guardians that the unsettling incident uh, that despite the unsettling incident the person in the costume did not gain any access to school buildings well it sounded like he was darting past windows was he, yeah. was, didn't it like just he, say he was in the school i need to get the story school straight campus here. i guess he didn't make it in the school he was just outside the windows that's yeah. still creepy enough yeah yeah uh, um so let's see in a letter addressing the uh families von guten emphasized the disruption caused by the unauthorized visitor and reiterated the district's commitment to prioritizing safety. Mm. He commended staff for their prompt response, noting the swift action of the school resource officer. Oh, wow, swift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Trifoletti. Oh, that's, uh, that's an Italian boy right hey, there. You're gonna hey, move, yeah. Resource officer Trifoletti. Yeah. You're gonna get him right hey. with the kids. He ain't <laughs> taking on, me, no. Hold, sh- hold on, I gotta undo the shirt. Hey, you know. Oh, there it is. Show yeah. some chest yeah. Yeah. Say hello to my little hey. friend here, oh, Troy Blevins. Yeah. 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 Too much chest, Troy. Yeah, yeah. About yeah well, <laughs> you're gonna get us kicked off the air. Yeah, that's really. That's. We'll go back. I've got bronzer. Back to business. All right. There's only three schools in this district. Just letting you know. Okay. The three schools. And they're all right together. Right. Yeah, they're like across. There's like elementary, <laughs> middle, and high school. Uh, yeah, that's all they need. Uh, Ohio. This was in Ohio. Yeah. Oh, they're little pansies. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> we celebrate pansies. Following <laughs> inquiries, the Larian County Sheriff's Office disclosed that the individual in the Bigfoot costume was a parent engaging in a prank. Well, they must be really bored in this mm, freaking yeah. town. It's Ohio. No charges have been filed yet. Fireland School Resource Officers are compiling a report for review by the Oberlin Prosecutor's Office. Oh, big trouble, man. Yeah. Bigfoot, big trouble. All right. Well, there you go. Well, don't go to school dressed as Bigfoot. I mean, around here, you will get shot. Yeah, don't do pranks I mean, at that's schools. that's a quick yeah. way to get shot around Yeah, here. not at schools. Yeah. <clears throat> Back Actually, in, in school, a student would have shot you. For years and years, <laughs> I have a giant beaver <laughs> follow me around in the school. What? So, yeah, because of... No uh, you are the way you are. Right. Jeez. It was like, Dad, Mr. Davey and the big beaver. That's, right. I mean, that's why you're so afraid of me. Oh right, I know. Well, some kids oh thought God. it was a rat. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> For years, it must have been PTSD. <laughs> Whenever oh, my Pete. mother's watching. She's like, oh, there is a chance. <laughs> Whenever you make Pete put his hand. Yeah, we've definitely gone face, overboard. No, we, we were successful. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to miss you when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Burgundy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, speaking of missing people while they're gone. St. John's County Fire Rescue. Unfortunately, you had a perfect segue, Davey. Mm. Uh, Bids farewell to a loving member of their department, the St. John's County Fire Rescue. Mourning the loss of a cherished member of their team, on Tuesday it was revealed that K-9 Shea, oh. one of their therapy dogs, had passed away. The somber announcement was made via SJCFR's Facebook page. I saw a bunch of the fire rescue at the Animal Emergency Clinic yesterday, which is right next door to a weed place, so I was hoping mm-hmm. they weren't getting their weed cards. Oh, yeah. But K-9 Shea donated uh, by Canines for Warriors in December of 2022. Oh, man. Served in the communications center. Described as a source of comfort and joy. Uh, Shea brought solace to all those she encountered within the department. In an emotional post, SJCFR expressed their grief over Shea's passing and uh, requested support for her handler, the communication staff, and the entire department during this difficult time. The canine leaves behind a legacy of compassion and companionship, deeply, deeply impacting the lives of those she touched. Yeah. Oh, man. I know that's a tough loss. A, a dog for any of us is a tough loss, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially a, a dog that provides comfort to so many who deal with so much on a, on a daily basis that we can't even imagine. So we're, we're very sorry for your loss, St. John's County Fire Rescue. I know that's a tough one, man. All right, let's see. Do we have time to talk about the Jaguars? Yeah, man. Should be a. Short... You should have said no. I don't even want to talk about. Oh, why did you love that? Short topic, though. Not much to talk about. Yeah, that. not a whole lot. Preliminary mm. deal between the Jaguars and the city of Jacksonville could be reached by next week. Mm. Jacksonville's plans for the stadium of the future appear to be on the horizon, with sources indicating that the deal between the city and the Jaguars is imminent and could be unveiled as soon as next week. This, according to sources, the upcoming council meeting scheduled for next Tuesday, uh, residents are going to be able to expect more clarity on the direction of the project, its potential costs, and the financial arrangements involved. The estimated cost for renovating the stadium stands at about $1.4 billion. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah. That's a serious project. You want to, do yeah. you want to do this one next? Yeah, I'll take it on. <laughs> I'll change the design. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you would. Or would you keep it? And uh, it. The specific. Yeah, I, would, I would either go all in or. Right. Or yeah. You, yeah. Okay. Okay. The specifics on this expense will be divided between the city and the Jaguars. Those expenses remain fluid, those plans, they say. 
you can say don't really <laughs> don't they don't really know with no definitive figures released just yet so you know if this deals go if this deal goes through this could save them from going to london oh mm-hmm. you predicted yeah. but they would have to go to london during the time that the the interim of it being they built? might yeah. yeah they might go to london and then they might never come back they might okay, like it yeah. we'll have this big stadium <laughs> well you know the, the jacksonville for some reason likes soccer so maybe they'll put a soccer team in there. Mm, the, even the MLS soccer teams couldn't fill that. I mean, they're, also they're only twenty thousand seats. Also, this could also be huge for concerts and things like that. Yeah, mm. concerts would be big time. Concerts. Yeah, would be uh, Taylor Swift would be able to come here. <laughs> Florida Man Games. <laughs> Florida Man Games. Give it about five years till we can build yeah. up a crowd that'll fill up a stadium. Yeah. But it's, it's on the horizon. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. definitely on the horizon. Florida Man Games in that the, stadium. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. That would be wouldn't awesome. It? Wouldn't it be Tron? awesome? Yeah. <sighs> we could already bring more people there than a Jaguars game. <laughs> That's true. We already, yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be more entertaining. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm a Jaguars fan, damn it. <laughs> All right. I'm not. Uh, Troy, how do you want to look at the comments today? Uh, I will work my way wildly through the wisdom of the wily watchers. Okay. Wily. Watchers. Wah, 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 wah. While you do that. The walks at Wabbits. Done? Yep. Yes. All, All right. done. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Bates Hewitt in Floyd is not your average local insurance agency. That's the truth. They provide peace of mind and insurance to protect your biggest investments. Their approach to insurance and risk, longevity in our community, and the way they treat their clients sets them apart from all the rest. Uh, They offer homeowners, auto, commercial, and benefits, and they've been doing that for over 50 years. Christy Lawrenson is St. Augustine's premier agent. She offers complimentary policy reviews and has a deep understanding of insurance and what is needed in St. Augustine to be properly insured. Her attention to detail and organizational skills have found policy errors and cost savings where others have not. Give them a call 904-794-5455 and schedule an appointment. I think Christy's going to come in soon because there's been some... There's some updates, yep. Insurance she's, updates yeah, in the world of very, insurance. And she's yeah. going to break them before it comes public knowledge, so we get the exclusive here. I'm very excited that she's coming. I always love yeah. getting those heads up. It saves a lot of people a lot of hassle and a lot of time and money when she comes mm-hmm. in and does that, so excited for that. Also, our friends at BNS Signs, working very closely with BNS Signs on the Florida Man Games because they are absolutely the best. I want the Florida Man Games to look top-notch, and BNS helps me do that with the great signage, whether it be... Banners hanging from the rafters, whether it be um, LED signs, lit up signage, Mm -hmm. um, even like directional signage, just telling people where to go uh, on the the campus. Or don't park here, lawn signs. Uh, Yeah. They can do that. They made lawn signs for you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Can have a lot of, uh, can have a lot of parking though. The Florida Man Games this oh, year. Oh, very nice. Yeah. No, and they, they, you guys were participating in uh, coming up with the design for Veterans Village. They just crushed that. Yeah. So excited about yes. getting getting that in place. I meet with the state today to try and get get the rest of the money from them. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great, man. Yeah, BNS Signs does it all. Yeah. No matter what kind of project you are doing, if you need signage, if you need cards, if you need stickers, if you need vehicle wraps, yeah. they really do it all, man. BNS Signs. Uh, right there at 2764 South Collins Avenue, right off State Road 16 out here. Great people. Troy, what you got, man? All right, so a lot of a lot of great stuff in there. Uh, as far as eulogies go, two, two people that it would be fun to have is uh, giving your eulogy, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, oh yeah, So man. good. Always the narrator voice would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and Shaq, no one would really understand what he's saying, but I'm sure it would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would be hilarious, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If he doesn't um, eat the microphone. Um, we, we talked about the K-9 Shea, but uh, K-9 Sandy was watching today. Oh, hey, Sandy. K-9 Sandy. Give right. Sandy a treat. Uh, She's it, great. Evidently. Uh, Clay's back there before he takes a drink. He's checking for cigarettes in his drink. Yeah. I think everyone's going to do that all day today. Yeah. 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 Um, Hall of Famer Karen Hudgens. I saw her come in. She just recently got uh, added and congratulations into the Flagler Hall of Fame. Cool. Oh, that's great. And evident, evidently Davey said something that was the funniest thing that's ever been said by Davey, but I'm not sure which one, because you always say something funny. I, I think know. it might have been your beaver banter. I think it was the beaver banter, it yeah. Been the beaver Just walking banter. into school with a giant beaver on my yeah. back. Yeah. So. We were best friends. We yeah. were great. I love yeah. Bucky. Yeah, Bucky. Bucky. Bucky was his name, really? Yeah, yeah, for oh, real, yeah. <laughs> Angry. 
Toydom stat. So we're going to have more beaver banter in the future. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, 1945. Huge, huge day all around the world. It is what's called VE Day. All right. <laughs> None of the VD day. VD day? Yeah. <laughs> Venereal disease. Hey, I, I <laughs> We're supposed to stop talking about this. VE day. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the beaver. Um, but it is Victory in Europe Day. So it okay. is the day Germany uh, uh, surrendered and basically unconditionally surrendered. And the Allies were celebrating. It was The war was still going on in the Pacific up until, uh, I think, August. Uh, but in Europe, this is the day the fighting stopped for World War II. Wow. Huge, okay. huge day in, in our world history. Yeah. Okay. Great story and stat. Yeah. Thank you very much. More uplifting. Much more up- uplifting than what we've had this week. Yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay positive because I'm going... Tomorrow is my last day this week. So. That's right. Yeah, right. Off to Vegas. And I need I need good, you know, karma, karma good karma vibes. Going into, yeah. Going into Vegas. Well, good luck with that. Troy yeah. may not have guaranteed wins, but you can have a guaranteed win at St. Augie's Pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right down there between Riberia and ML King. Check them out today. You might see one of us in there. Troy's going to have to get in a lot there. of St. Augie's Pizza before he leaves. I was there last night. I, yeah. I, Go I, again today. After the, <laughs> after the meeting, I was like, all right, what do I want? What's always, what's always clutch? St. Augie's. Augie's is, is That's always it. clutch. Always. Yeah. All right, plugs, Troy. Um, just everyone have a great Did day. Did you start I to wave off? Let's get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> ready to get out of here, man. I, I was waving already. Uh, I was hoping I wasn't on camera, but I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dang it. Great uh, job, Trey. <laughs> um, yeah, just everyone have a great day. I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's great to be in St. Augustine. Hey, uh, 3 o'clock today, the St. Augustine History Festival um, is happening, and it's enormous. Yeah. So we're going to unpack this a little bit and get it organized for locals. There's some great things happening. Trey and Clay? Blugs? Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, just uh, remember, uh, June 4th, 2024, the, the connection, Forging Steel. That's right. It, it's, it's coming out. I like it. <laughs> right. Check out the book. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, Can I wave now? (laughs) No. I I was going to grant you permission to wave, and then you tried to sneak a wave in. Yeah, he did. (laughs) Chanel, now he's holding. No. (laughs) I've got to tell people to visit thefloridamangames.com on Monday and find out all the information. Going to be looking for sponsors and teams pretty soon, too. Let's get it. Yes. Give us a call. That's right. All right. Now you can wave, Troy. Have a great day, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye.